Hello, this is Darren Craddock from Inner Health Botanicals with The Daily Dose. This is a follow-up episode talking about toxins and how they affect your health. Today I'd like to talk to you about some of the primary toxins and most dangerous toxins that we're facing today. I mentioned briefly in the first version of, the, of this particular series on The Daily Dose that we're exposed to lots and lots of different toxins. They come to us in the form of heavy metals, in the form of petrochemical toxins, and very often they combine together in products such as herbicides, pesticides, even common household cleaning chemicals. So choosing, for example, to make better choices in regards to the products you use is going to be part of the practice of avoidance. We'll talk more in the next episode about avoidance. Today I want to talk just briefly about some of these toxins and how they affect your health. Firstly, I'm going to take two heavy metals. One is lead, the other is mercury. Lead, for many of you, um, the most common source to everyone's mind is going to be lead-based paints. Back in the 70s, laws were passed to prevent the use of lead-based paints. However, still today, one in 10 homes in the United States contain lead-based paints. Either these were paints that people had left over and were still using after lead-based paints were banned, or these are paints, for example, that um, are just on the walls in older houses that have never been renovated. It is required to do special hazmat work in order to renovate a home with lead-based paint. So it's considered a major toxin. It causes birth defects such as poor cognitive development, heart problems, lung problems, skin problems, and a host of other issues. You can Google lead and its health effects and get more information online. Metal smelting. So if you live in an industrial area, much of the lead-based um, toxicity is, has been more concentrated in areas in the eastern part of the United States. However, it's present everywhere. The problem also is that it get the residues of lead get in the soil, just as the residues of mercury get in the air and eventually in the soil. So even from we can get it and assume, assimilate it through um, just the foods we eat. Other chemical toxins. Well, I mentioned mercury. Mercury is serious. It's in the environment, in the air, in the water, but it's also in our mouths. So if you need to get a filling, a cavity filled, do not allow the dentist to use a silver amalgam. Silver amalgams are 50% or more mercury. Probably, although these are really dangerous, petrochemical toxins have become probably, oh gosh, I mean today, if you take the umbilical cord blood of the average baby, there are 200 plus toxins present on average. That's pretty serious in my mind. What can we avoid? Well, some of the things we need to avoid are parabens. Check out sources, say for example, like any liquids, moisturizing creams, um, shampoos, conditioners, products that you use in the house, even liquid vitamins and minerals can have parabens in them. Phthalates, avoid plastics. All plastics tend to be full of chemical toxins, especially phthalates, which are plasticizers or products used to soften plastic. Plastic, as you probably remember, used to be much more brittle when we first had it in the 70s and early 80s. When they, fed, when they started using phthalates in the mid-70s to soften plastic, that's when the beginning of all these problems happen. It causes reproductive issues, a feminization of males, and so an ultimate fall in fertility. This is really, really important. There is good news. There are ways to detox from these toxins, so stay tuned for future versions or future episodes, I should say, of The Daily Dose with myself, Darren Craddock from Enter Health Botanicals. Thank you for watching.